again folks, welcome back to JNC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I'm going to show you what I do with backgrounds that are fails. Okay, so this was a watercolour panel. I used the other side and I just had this bit left so it was stuck in there. This was a foil panel that you can barely see the design on. It's a blue heart. I doubt very much if you can see it because I can barely see it. So that was a fail. And this was a gel plate, jelly plate background that I just haven't used. I don't consider it a fail. I just haven't used it and I want to. So what I do is I emboss them. I either emboss them or I stamp on a background stamp on them or something like that. So, oh, this is simply cards and paper craft, but I haven't put which one, but it's a long time ago. So that's the one I'm going to use on there, saying as Valentine's Day is our next. Yeehaw! in the card making industry and I'm going to run that through okay so for this one I'm going to use a dot one it's just a generic one that has no details on it and I'm going to run that through okay like that then for this one, I have like a leafy background here, but, 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 I want to put something on it. I couldn't get the words out. Okay, so I'm taking a dark blue ink from Crafter's Companion. And I'm putting it on the, that's the deboss, this is the emboss, so I'm going to put it on there like that. Okay, then I'm going to put my piece of card in carefully. and fold it over and I'm going to run that through the machine too so when I have all those done I will return so we're back for the big reveal there isn't that pretty wow now that I like very much let me see about this one Hmm, I wonder if I could file the top of that to give me a bit more detail. It's definitely embossed, but I think I'd like a bit more detail. And then this is the other one that I put ink on. And isn't that pretty? Look how easy it is to make something that you're not keen on really pretty. That you're your va va voom about. It gives you your get up and go. It makes it go up and go. So those are our three. I'm going to see if I can find a nail file and do that to that one. Oh yes I can. And now you can see pattern a bit more liberally. You can get special sanding blocks to do this but I buy these in the pound shop and get three for a pound and it does a job considering that I don't really use them that often. Okay right and there you go, that's your 
you foil back one all ready to go. Now that's really quick and easy. And what you can do for some more um, definition or whatever the heck you want to call it is, I have this. Now I could sand that one back too, but this one I am going to turn into a Valentine card, I hope. And I have this little finger dober, and this is Cosmic Shimmer Opal Polish. And I simply put it on. I had a bit too much on that corner. But There we go, all I'm doing is adding a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle to the design. That's how easy it is to take something that you don't particularly love, it's alright, you could live with it, but it's not something that makes your heart go bobbity bump. But that is pretty. Oh, I like that. I like it. Anyway, as TJ, TJ told me today that I am grounded for 1,500 years for <laughs> making up silly songs about him. <laughs> Granny, if you make one up one more silly words, he says, you're grounded for 1,500 years. So, there you go now, I'm grounded. <laughs> Good job I'm not going anywhere anyway. <laughs> right, so what I did next was I went through my stash and I found things that I might want to use. The first things that I found were these images that I thought were really pretty. No, that's not it. Where is it? Where's the other one? That would work with the background. So, the plan is that one's getting that one, that one's getting that one, and that one's maybe getting that one, and maybe not. So, we shall see. Okay, so then what I did was... I picked out some card for behind it and decided what I wanted to put my so I've got blue for that and I've cut a star out and it's going to be what my topper sits on if I can find the blue hoo. Okay, and this, because this is now debossed, make sure you get glue on anywhere you can. Come on, move. Okay, so that would be that background. And then I decided that one there was going on that and it was going to be black. And I've cut a shape out of it too. And I'm just going to stick this down. Okay. So, that's that one. That's another panel. And then for the other one, I've decided I was going to do Valentine's because I've gotten the heart in. So I got out some red card. And I put, put out a die out in the middle of it too, a heart die. I just need to get plenty of glue on. Okay, there we 
we go, and that will be card panel number three. Just make sure it's sticking. Okay. Oops. Right, now, put that away. So, these two are obviously going to be a six, and this is going to be a six by six. So, for the black one, I cut out a Sue Wilson. Dean a rectangular frame, which is this one, which gave me this. So I thought I would put that on there and put you on there. And I did cut a white bit. Okay. And put that in there. And put that on there. And this stamp is actually from Make Special Cards number 17. And I've stamped it just for you, just for you as well somewhere. There she blows. And this is, I've used all three of them dies. One, two, three. That's number one, that's number two, and this one here is number three. That's what I'm putting my thingy me jig on. Okay, so that's the plan for that one. For this one here, the plan is evolving is basically the plan is evolving this these dies that i have cut out here are from tonic craft kit number 16 okay and i could do that or i could do that and just put love on oh yes i like that because he looks as if he's loving you and you also get these flowers in it which I've also cut out but I haven't decided whether I even like them or not I think no I don't think I'll be up here away from the the wee image sort of curving down like that that looks better and then our love on there okay that's a plan for that one and those bits we will use another time and what was the plan for this one then the plan for this one is stars I've got a star a navy star and a white star and I've got a little blue crocodile and this is going to be a boy's card and I've got I can't find the stamp set that that comes from I just went through my wee bags of stuff and found things that would work with the colours and then I've got this little hugs and kisses that I found in my sentiment stash and I'm just going to put it on. Come on, get up. I haven't decided just where yet. Probably there. So, you, s you know what the plan is. I'm going to go and stick them all together and come back and show you. Okay, we're back with the finished projects. And I have added gems to them. I've added white, turquoise and black to this one. That's the way I showed you. I've added silver blue to this one. And that's the same way I showed you. Okay. And then the third one was this one. And I actually stuck a couple of hearts on that came out of this. I have glittered, used a glitter pen on the inside of that, tonic glitter glaze. And then I actually put Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Jewels on top of my top floor. 
and I can feel something on the back of it that shouldn't be there. And that was my third card. So I hope you liked my idea of taking things that weren't actually, didn't really vava them you, and make them more, give them none more bang for their buck, as they say. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you'd give me a thumbs up, that would be great. If you would subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. And I hope you're all staying, staying safe and well. And until the next time, jaggy out.